Mike Schmaltz and Rich Hoyt here with Zapier Head Women's Basketball Coach Brian Neal. Musketeers get 91 in a big win over Chicago State. Xavier now 19-0 in Cintas Center openers. Big night tonight, you get four in double figures led by Deja Ross, who gives you 22 a career best. Yeah, Deja came out, I think she hit her first shot and kind of and settled us in right off the bat, and, and it was good to see. I mean, we, we have some few veterans that we need them to, to get us going, and she did that. And uh, I thought she had a nice game, not just shooting the ball, but I think she drove it pretty well and stayed under control and then played pretty good defense. Had some newcomers contribute right off the bat. Lauren Wasselson gets a start as a freshman, hits some nice threes for you, and Anna Towns a big day in the post. Yeah, um, Waz is, uh, you know, she, she's, we've been starting her to start the year. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But we've been playing her. That way we can balance on our rotation a little bit. Um, and, and she gives us a scoring, a, a shooting threat for sure. And she's, she's a big guard, and uh, which helps on the defensive end at times too. So um, Townsend was a monster on the boards. Just when she gets in a good position, she, she's a great finisher. When you give it to her around the basket, she puts it in, had some great and ones and uh, just, just her whole presence was, was awesome. So two big additions. Coach, early on, uh, you were able to get to the basket, uh, get to the foul line quite a bit early on, and um, you you still you, you took 36 three-point field goal attempts. We know you like to put up the three. We know you like for them to shoot it. Were you pleased with the shot selection tonight? No, not really, uh, especially in the first half. And we, I, I thought we got some good stuff out of transition. I, I, we really settled at times. Um, for, for that three-point shot. I thought we could have gotten to the rim. I thought we could have got more free throws and could play more inside out. And sometimes when you get a lead, a lot of things go out the window, especially with a young team. I thought we really got away from some concepts on both ends we want to work on. So, and that was, I just felt like we were really letting that go a little quick. Defensively, you got going there in the second quarter, kind of a rough start in, in the first quarter defensively, but settled in defensively, held them to five points, I believe, in that that second quarter. What what contributed to that? Well, I we went to that press, and I think that ate up some of their shot clock, and it just got them out of their rhythm a little bit. And I told our, our kids at halftime, I said, look, we're not pressing in the second half because I thought we were relying on that too much. I said, we, we've got to guard people in, in our man-to-man -man defense. And it, it wasn't pretty. We, we've spent so much time on our offense. And then when you got a young team, like you come in, we don't know anything about this team. they got a new coach. We have no idea what they're going to run on either end of the floor. So we're trying to prepare for being pressed in various presses, all the different zones. And so we've been spending all our time on those situations. And in my opinion, that's what it really looked like on a defensive end. We were really out of sorts. So we've got to get back to the drawing board there. But you spend all your time on offense and you get 90 points. I mean, at least you're getting something out of what you're working on. Sure. Ayanna Townsend, talk about her. She was perfect from the field, six for six, and just did a lot of the dirty work. Led you in rebounding as well. And, and the thing I was most impressed with was her her inside interior defense, and you know, she walled up on some players really effectively. Yeah, Yanni's got some. She's got great timing in there. She she's really she may be one of the smartest players I've ever coached, and so she's just she picks things up really quick, and uh, but she's really quiet. But she's but she's not in a big hurry. So she has great timing with all the stuff she does. And then when she finishes, she's got timing, kind of to hang there and finish those. She doesn't just fire it up there real quick. It's just a great feel for the game. And, I, and we're just, she's just scratching the surface of where she's going to be. Tierra Floyd was able to step out, hit some threes. You get a really good idea of what you saw tonight, why you stuck with her through all the knee troubles. Well, and, and, and that is just a, a blip of what Tierra Floyd used to be. And so we're getting there. She's, uh, she is like a freshman knowing anything that we do is defensively any of our action but she can shoot it and um she can go for a few minutes and it's just we're, it's a progress we're going to try and bring her along and get her a, a little bit more out of her every day and uh, but yes yeah, she to have a, a big guy who can stretch the floor like that is a nice luxury especially off your bench so um hopefully that's just start for her and we can in you know, a month from now she's a different woman too New group will get a pretty quick start here in Tennessee Tech coming up here in a couple of days. Talk about what you want to work on between then and now. Well, Tech, Tech is a um, – they they got more veteran players. They, they've, they're they really a strong offensive team, and uh, they've been putting up big numbers here in the preseason. So we're going to have to tighten up our defense for sure. Um, but, you know, really – um, we're off tomorrow, and uh, we got two days for them, and so we just kind of regroup and re and get back in here and see what we can what kind of plan. But they'll be, they'll be a very tough challenge. Musketeers move to one and zero on the season with a big victory over Chicago State.